What's up? My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to install Visual Studio 2022, keeping your installed configuration from Visual Studio 2019. Migrating from one to the other has never been so easy. If you'd like to know how to transfer your hotkeys and other settings, that'll be a separate video, which you'll find linked down in the description below. This one's solely going to focus on copying the installation settings from 2019 to 2022. Let me give you an example. Over here, inside of the Visual Studio installer, I have VS 2019. Clicking Modify, not only do I have specific options here checked, but heading across to the Individual Components tab, I have specific options here as well, such as random things down here that I ticked one out of hundreds. Now, of course, this is going to take quite some time to figure out what you need to do to select here on the 2022 installer, etc, etc. It's a lot of work. While you will still need to do this or at least verify what you have selected, there is a very easy way of moving from 2019 to 2022 with basically all of your settings intact. How do we do this? Well, it's relatively simple. All you have to do is go ahead and actually make sure you have on the available tab the Visual Studio 2020 22 community or whatever version it is here. If you don't have this, however, you'll need to head across to Microsoft's page, which will be linked down below, visualstudio.microsoft.com slash launch and click community under download Visual Studio or of course, whatever button here. Upon doing so and opening the installer with your current installer closed, you'll see the three options here or it'll pop up with say this screen here, talking about Visual Studio 2022. Of course, everything's unchecked and the individual components tab is also completely unchecked. What do we do? Well, on the computer or your current computer, we have Visual Studio 2019 installed. Click the more option inside of the installer and click export configuration. Then simply leave it as is. For me, it's in C users, my username documents, and the file is .vsconfig. I'll click review details and it'll basically tell me everything I have installed. Cool export and then OK. If you'd like, you can open up the folder using that link or by navigating across there manually to pull it across to other computers. If we head across to the available tab at the very top and scroll down to the newly added Visual Studio 2022, I can click more next to the version here I'd like to install and click import configuration. If it's on the same computer, simply just click review details and this time you'll see things look a little bit different. Of course, some things may not be pulled across and you'll need to keep these in mind. I'd recommend taking a screenshot of this so you can refer back to it later. I'll click OK here. And as you can see, lots of things have automatically been checked for me and the download size has changed quite dramatically. Now, I would recommend heading across to individual components at the very top and making sure that things in here are selected as you'd expect. Heading across to that image that I just mentioned, we can go through things here, such as TypeScript. I'm not too sure if there's anything here. There's TypeScript 4.4 SDK instead of 4.3, so I'll tick that. Then the next one, SQL ADAL. Search for ADAL, nothing. SQL, hmm, not too sure, but I don't really use that. .NET 4.5.2. They just have .NET Framework 4.6 and above, which has been selected for me. 4.6. 4.7 and 4.8 over here. And what I'm really focusing on is .NET 5 and .NET 6. Of course, simply rinse and repeat for all of the options here that you'd like to pull across to the new version. Something I would like is the Android SDK, which they've gone ahead and ticked for me here. 31, this one is version 30. Awesome, so things have been pulled across as close as they can. I'll quickly comb through this and remove things I know I'm not going to be using, such as, say, F Sharp, just to help minimize what I'm installing. I'm not going to be using anything from Azure, except for things that are used in other places. Of course, if you're not sure what something is, you can hover over it to get more information on it. And of course, once you're happy customizing this, you can just hit install. And of course, I like to have it on install while downloading. Upon clicking yes for run as admin, it'll start the download and installation process. Now, this is of course the full 2022 release, not the preview, which you can now hit the X next to it to close out of the preview. But for me, I'll just be leaving it there just because why not? From now, it just depends on your internet speed and your hard drive speed. And of course, when it's done, you'll likely need to restart your PC. But hey, that is what it is. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno Bay here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully this video helped you and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.